This is Sally Richardson Whitfield, and we are at the Pan African Film Festival. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> We are at the Pan African Film Festival, and it's chilly outside, too. <laughs> well, first, okay, let me start off by getting a comment from you on the, the uh, Pan African Film Festival, which has been in existence for 22 years. Amazing. It's, it offers great opportunities for black filmmakers, black directors. Just give me a comment on what it feels like to be at an event like this. Well, I'm, you know what? I'm always honored to be a part of it, really. Um, I had a friend who was trying to come and you know everybody wants to be here and I think that that's wonderful and it's growing and it's getting better and better um, there's always you know as you know a wide range of films at the festival and people need to just keep coming out and seeing some of these great black films yeah, and how important is it to recognize filmmakers from across the world not just in America it's hard to make films and it's a dream and people put their heart and soul in it and we have to go out there and we have to support it to, to learn different things and learn different culture and you know and help our people along you know. and I know that you're a mom although you cannot tell <laughs> <laughs> How important is it for um, your children to know about the black films of the past and the black films of the future? Listen, my husband shows all the old box tapes of, of course, he's in the Cosby show, so of course he shows that. But Good Times and um, I'm trying to think of that other one with rerun in it. I mean, listen, we watch all the old ones and the kids know it and I think... You know, I think they're good things for them to see and see what we've been doing. And then and my daughter, I call her my little activist, you know, she's very sensitive. She'll watch a film and be like, oh, finally, a black person. Like, it bugs her. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad that she's noticing and she's conscious, because I notice it. Mm -hmm. I'll go to film and be like, really? There's nowhere you could have put anybody of color in this film? And it's irritating. Yeah. What are you working on at this particular moment? Well, I'm actually developing a lot of st stuff. I have a show that I'm developing in one of the networks for myself. Okay. And I'm also developing a Lena Horne project, um, a Broadway show. So it's sort of my dream, dream project. It's been, I have a playwright in London who just finished writing it. And now we're getting the money to, like, you know, start, uh, start doing it. So hopefully you'll see it soon. Oh, definitely looking forward to it. And you'll be a beautiful Lena Horne. Thank you. It's always, I've always loved her. Always my dream to play her. Well, we'll wait for it, okay. and we'll be there. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Bye-bye. Right. Okay. <laughs> I know the feeling. 